Setmore tutorial, how to use Setmore appointment scheduling. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Setmore. Setmore is an online platform that fits all of your scheduling needs and can help you in making sure that you get there on time and all of your appointments can be held accurately. So let's get into it. Now, as you guys can see, Setmore is a very simple and easy to use tool. It's integratable with Zapier and many other tools. And you guys can see that it's all about connecting. So you can connect multiple different social media platforms, business platforms, and more. So to get started with Setmore is very simple. Simply head on over to setmore.com and then click on start free on the top right. Once you click on start free from here, you're going to choose your free account. So this could be Google or Facebook, or you can start with your name, email, and phone as well. So I'm just going to sign up with my Google account over here. And once we have completed this, I'm just going to log on. Now, once you have completed your sign up, you'll be led to your dashboard. Now in your dashboard, you will see on the left, you have this collapsible panel where you have your calendar services, customers, integrations, and then your settings. Now within this, you guys will see, you also have a team that you can add. So you can go on ahead and add team members. Then you also have your services that you are providing. You have your general settings, your booking page, what it's going to look like, booking policies that you might have, booking preferences and customizations. So let's get started with our actual calendar and setting up our services and booking times. And then later on, I'll show you guys how you can customize the appearance of your booking page. So to get started, we can go on ahead and open up our calendar. And in our calendar, we have a few different options on the top right. We have day, month, agenda, and then team. So if you go into day, it will show you one day. This will show one month. And then you can also see your agenda where it's going to show you your appointments and then your team's appointments as well. Now, you will also see you have a booking page link and I'll show you guys what mine currently looks like. This is going to be your booking page. You guys can see I have set this up like that. But let's get started with making our own calendar and our own services. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of these pre-existing um, meetings templates that they have added and I'll build my own services. Now within Setmore you have two options. You can either create services or classes. So a service is going to be something that is usually individual and a class is something that is going to be held regardless of how many people are joining and people can book together. So we are going to create a new service that is going to be a makeup or eyelash extensions and then we can search in the services section like this you know you can search in the services section if those services are available but if not you can just click on create over here to create your new service so we're going to click on create service and then we're going to click on eyelash extensions and then say the duration for this is going to be 60 minutes and then you can also you know upgrade this if it's going to be more than 60 minutes you can go for 120 minutes you know two hours three hours however much you want then let's say between appointments i have a five minute buffer time then we are going to enter the cost let's say it's 600 and then we can add the location so you have two options teleport which basically means online and then you also have in person then you have set to hidden so you can only be available to your team not to your booking page visitors i will obviously not make this hidden i will make this public and then we can also upload a representative image for our particular service so whatever is a related image you can upload that i'm just uploading this image as a sample and then once you have completed uploading your image just click on create on the bottom right and just like that your service will be created now, once you do that, you will see your calendar and you can click on connect calendar to connect your Google or Microsoft calendar for you to be able to, you know, set up your own times and appointments and more. 
Now you will see you have new booking options, you have create a service options, add team member, add customer options directly in your calendar as well. And what I'm going to do on the top right is right beside your share button, you have three dots. From here, you're going to click on change working hours and you can change your working hours from here. Let's say we open up shop at 5 p.m. and we stay open till 9 or 8. And then I can click on apply to all. And then let's say even on Saturdays and Sundays, we are open. So I can enter that. Let's say we are closed on Thursdays and Fridays like this. And then you can click on over here in the break section in the left panel. So you can add different breaks if you are going to be taking a scheduled break. Then you also have time off where you can, you know, input your days when you're not going to be available ahead of time if you're going on vacation or going somewhere else. Then you can enter your time off days. Once you've done that, click on save over here to edit your working hours. And now if we go into share and open up our booking page, I'll show you guys my booking page now. Now my booking page has these times and we also have our, you know, date and time and the different appointments that I can take within those date and times. Now, once we have set up our basic service and our basic calendar, the next step is to go into settings on the left panel and you can go into booking page over here. Once you go into booking page, you will see the booking page URL that you have. You can edit that as well. Then you have your favorite apps that you can connect. So let's say I'm running a beauty bar, then I can connect my beauty bar's Instagram or Facebook account so customers can feel more connected and feel more related to the brand or business. What a social media connection does is that it builds a parasocial relationship. So you want to build that kind of relationship with your customers. Then you have your basic brand details. So you're going to upload your brand's banner image over here. I'll just be using a few sample images, but you're going to upload, you know, actual content from your brand. So you're going to upload your logo, your banner image, and you can upload logo over here and enter your logo like this. Now, once you uploaded a banner image and your logo, you can scroll down. You also have your booking policies. So how much notice do you require before an appointment? Let's say I don't take last minute appointments. I need to be notified at least one hour before the appointment. Then in the booking slot size, let's say my booking slot should appear after every 15 minutes and then my scheduling window should be only one month ahead in time i don't want to be booked you know three months ahead in time then i have a cancellation policy where people can only cancel six hours beforehand and you have your basic preferences and you can just you know set up which ones you want so if you don't necessarily need the address of the people or your contact, you can remove that field. And you also have some general customizations as well as services and class customizations and labels. And once you've completed that, you can click on save. And that is how simple and easy it is to get started with Set more. It's a very simple, easy, and effective appointment scheduling tool. Plus, it's available for free for the first four users in your team. And then on the pro version, you have some other added capabilities like the removal of set more branding and two way calendar sync and more. So, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.